So you know what? Let's see what we um, what's coming our way. And we do have the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician. We are manifesting something. Um, magician is about life altering events. So we are kind of manifesting a new life. But we have the Seven of Pentacles attached to it. Right? We have to be patient. Harvest time is coming. We have to wait for the fruits to be ripe. Right? And we do have the Two of Wands. And by the way, with this deck, I do not read reversals. So we are at crossroads manifesting a new life here. Taking control, having a plan. That's exactly the um, the magician, right? The energy of having a plan. And the Four of Pentacles. We might be concerned about money. Holding on to money. Waiting, expecting money. Financial stability opportunities a foundation something four of pentacles four of swords absolutely a foundation we hope to build a foundation right with our mind and the money that we saved or we are hoping to receive so let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time and you know how time is fluid right and we do have two of pentacles Five of Pentacles. Oh, baby, what's going on? Nine of Swords and the Hermit. Oh my God, Ten of Swords. And yourself. Absolutely, you're reading over here. I do love the Six of Swords. I believe we are um, having peace of mind coming. I'm going to take it. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. It was a hell of a journey. It was a very... Um, it, it, it brought a lot of growth, right? That's a Hermit. Uh, shining a light on a situation, getting the lesson, understanding. But we are still um, in that energy, right? And we long for a moment of quieting the mind. Six of Swords. Moving away from trouble. But it's still in our energy a little bit. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. We are very concerned for some of you. Again, this energy with the Five of Pentacles and we, while shuffling, we had the Four of Pentacles. So I don't know if that is um, um, Capricorn, an aspect of money, uh, somehow entangled to this love connection of yours. Um, love relationship, because we have it with the Two of Pentacles, right? Juggling uh, to make ends meet. Uh, that's the Two of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles and Nine of Swords is what is that? If we, I will see with the energies, if you are going through a separation, if the betrayal concerns money or somebody hiding money, your soulmate, your um, husband, wife, uh, whoever you are dealing with, or this is about the fact that walking away might bring some financial instability to you, um, can be. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. It's in your energy, but I would say as soon as we quiet the mind, Six of Swords is such a beautiful energy, is leaving behind um, tormented waters. But, you know, yeah, it can be physically, but can also be emotionally. And it's not by mistake that we have the Six of Swords, right? So the mind, it's deploying the mind, um, you know, to finally move away from the, um, the trouble. It's being smart about something that, right? The, the sword is seeing, its perspective is um, the eyes of the mind, the way we look at the situation. Well, we'll see. You show up here. Of course, might have been something very toxic and we finally wake up from a bad dream and it, or it feels like a bad dream, right? We'll see. So Capricorn, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome. The possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, mutual energies. And bottom of the deck page of cups, I love this, right? The new emotional experience. Uh, a little bit of control over our emotions can be a new cup of love offered by somebody can be you uh, well we'll see so let, let's see so on your side in the past oh my god we have the five of wands and the two of wands 
we might have had conflicts with this person five of wands is internal struggle and fight and conflict and competition and unsettling kind of energies and uh, this this type of energy kind of threw you at the crossroads right with the two of wands for some of you this is contemplating and it's not quite the same two of swords, right? The thinking and being blindfolded, but two of wands is the energy of contemplating a new path. This is when the idea comes to mind that, um, you know, after the ace of wands, we become passionate and we have this um, fire in our belly and then it goes to the two of wands. Now I need to make a choice. I need to choose a path based on the passion that you have. But I'm sensing more at some point you questioned yourself about um, you know where this is leading and then the universe showed you crossroads and said well now Capricorn it's about time baby we choose something over here right this is how it feels oh isn't it amazing Capricorn what's going on this person wanted new beginnings had new beginnings ace of wands ace of cups their energy is totally on fire um, new cup of love and uh, new beginnings so maybe you know might i might be picking up the energy of in and out kind of connection so let's see let's have this oh mutual energies between the two of you two of cups three of pentacles i love this then why the fight you know um i love this because you have well first of all the energy of new beginnings um uh, maybe this person of yours came back or whatever struggle you had actually um, you know, they've managed to repair this. But if you're wondering if they loved you, Ace of Cups, there was a lot of um, love and Ace of Wands, a lot of desire. And the energy between the two of you is the Three of Pentacles with the Two of Cups, right? The energy of love, the energy of partnership, of a soulmate bond, the energy of body, mind, and soul, the energy of let's build a life, let's bring skills together and make it work. Might have been an effort, Three of Pentacles is more of a teamwork, but can be about effort, you know, and skills and um, the way we manage the connection. But at the end of the day, you are so loved. And I don't know why you felt um, at crossroads. Now, for some of you, Three of Pentacles with the Two of Cups might be a third party situation. And maybe that is why we had this fight and we felt that maybe we need to make a choice. And this person might have received um, you know a new beginning of some sort or they were contemplating it is a new beginning it is starting a new chapter for this person in the past and maybe three of pentacles for some of you that's why maybe we have you worried like this nine of swords five of pentacles feeling abandoned maybe this person was starting a new beginning and actually three of pentacles might very well be a third party situation and what stood between you and this person can be somebody else we have the devil, we know it's your energy, but can be actually the energy of lust, right? The energy of lust, the energy of, um, of um, sensual and sexual encounters and being obsessed with um, and wanting something new. So can be, we'll see. Well, where are we right now? We do have the moon. This is Pisces energy. You might be dealing with the, Pi with the Pisces and the Three of Cups. We want reconciliation. We want this person back. We want to be happy again. We want to be friends again. We want to go out. We want to have a life. And um, with the moon, for some of you, of course, can be Pisces, but can be a little bit feeling a little bit lost right now. But one clarity of the mind is that we want this reconciliation this is also the energy of i don't know where this uh, this is leading um because of the moon we might be struggling a little bit with um anxiety depression three of cups is the energy of celebration so maybe some of you we are having one glass too many um, because it is also the energy of fears and the energy of with the three of cups of um you know maybe drinking or uh, I some food for thought it comes to mind this one um, actually you know and also can be the energy of fear to calm anxieties maybe some of you we feel a little bit you know that this is the only way actually to um, to overcome this energy of the moon right because we don't know what's going on just yet we are a little bit lost now this person of yours um, 
they um, have right now the energy of two of swords they are in their mind and the seven of cups um, can be confusion illusion and with the two of swords is kind of a confirmation of they don't know exactly what to do um, somebody is questioning themselves questioning the choices the options what they want what they can offer um, they might be a little bit again with the seven of cups a little bit in 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 their emotions in their feelings but still um, having coming to the to the uh, to the table with this energy of two of swords let me give it a good thought you know and again they might have options here but absolutely well, it might be a third party situation we do have the three of pentacles now we have the three of swords with the ten of wands so we are hurt both of you you are hurt by what's going on burdened by what's going on thinking about it i believe you are the, the way it shows up here it's like you are really willing to give them a chance while this person is more of um finding themselves you know at a stage in some way uh where they are trying to find themselves make the right choices be smart about something really seeing the big picture not making really fundamental decisions because they know they are blindfolded but contemplating and uh, and kind of um employing the mind and the heart because we do have cups and we do have swords right so they are using in their mind and their heart moving forward the energy coming uh, your way capricorn absolutely we say um yes to this we do have the magician and the ace of pentacles manifesting a new beginning this is universe providing this is you aligning with the magician because it's the energy is above so below and we have this um solid new beginning coming your way this is really a new chapter something that you can build it is within your energy with the ace of pentacles and it's something again you can count on because it's created from your own energy and I do love the magician because this is you taking charge, you having a plan, you being smart, you having some magic happening in your life or coming your way. And because of it, we finally turn the page and we have this Ace of Pentacles. I love this. And I, and I always love, um, this person might have um, fire and water in their chart because they have this um, cups and wands might be air sign with a two of swords but mainly we have cups and um and we have wands here so but i'm sensing more we are taking control we are scared as hell right capricorn we are scared as hell because we don't know it's still it still hurts we are still in our head but look at the magician it's kind of like the universe telling you that is there are possibilities and that is magic around you so you have to look deeper um, for some of you, it's a reminder. It's absolutely a major arcana, so lessons and pieces of advice, and you are reminded that you do have the tools, but we have to uncover them, right? We have to go find them. We have to go to the toolbox again and opening that, opening it up, and do a little um, inventory of, right? Because the universe is giving you a new beginning here, so you better be ready. Now the person you are dealing with. Uh, the chariot cancer energy and the ace of swords and that's such um in line with because you ha you in your own energy have a new beginning they are in their head with the two of swords and then ace of swords new beginnings and the chariot cancer energy it is an energy of breaking free this is an energy of liberation with the with the chariot it is an energy of moving um and it's interesting in different ways but the confidence you are both confident about this new beginning the magician is confident the chariot is rushing in taking a risk no matter what i'm going to be good and the new beginning comes in different shapes for both of you um it's very stable for you ace of swords is very um warrior kind of energy but also um in a form of a revelation right ace of swords is um is cutting everything out and going straight to the point that it's the revelation of the essence of their new beginning um and there is a sense of freedom that comes for this person now mutual energies i love this probably you have kids you do have the empress might be a mom between you and this person and page of swords communication absolutely you uh, keep communicating with this person 
and with the lady whoever needs to take their responsibilities um, you are doing it they are doing it this is the energy of the provider um, this is uh, the energy of doing what's right being nurturing towards each other this is the energy of taking care of kids and whatever needs to be done and page of swords is the energy of being smart you know maybe this love is very hurt and very over with the ten of swords and a ten of wands both of you, you feel like, um, anyways, the energy coming your way is you are heading into different uh, new beginnings with two different energies. But what works um, between you and this person is the energy of the Empress, right? Providing, being kind, being nurturing, taking care of kids, paying whatever has to be paid, and the Page of Swords communication is good. We are keeping lines of communication open. We are sending the messages that we need to send. We are smart about this. and um, But that is a strong energy of really moving in two different energies, in two different directions for two different purposes, actually. Um, so let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know. We do have release your ex. A little bit like Taurus. Taurus had the same um, energies. Release your ex and make the effort. The time has come to clear your energy. And great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So somebody really needs to let go here. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing you wanting this reconciliation right now. Three of Cups. Longing, feeling lost. If Is it going to happen or not, right? But... Um, you are guided to let them go here, Capricorn. Now let's um, ask for some more guidance. Let's um, have my guardian angels. Let's see what we need to do here. We do have the star Aquarius energy, right? This is wish fulfillment. So it says Capricorn, this is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away um, and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Um, have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. So divine guidance, right? Aquarius energy. For some of you, this is all about hope. Stay hopeful. Ace of Wands, I love this. So this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity your career or pursuing your dreams this is a card of action and if you've been procrastinating it's time to really get busy it's also a great time to start a new business have confidence in your abilities and guess what capricorn you do have the magician baby manifest your dreams and you do have the devil choose freedom you have your energy and you have the magician again so it's magic it's a magical time for you too. I don't remember who's, um, that is another sign that got this energy of a magical time. This is your time actually. So manifest your dreams. It says you're ready to go. There is no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. And you do have to choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacle that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from um, negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Choose freedom, manifest your dreams, right? Release your ex. Honestly, it's a strong energy of letting go and starting new here so let's have um let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow here and we have fear i realize that i'm testing i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love so don't be afraid to love this is what i'm hearing and failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so Capricorn, that I, I believe somebody here is guided, right, to see the, uh, the learning opportunity. And, and probably we need to um, draw a conclusion of some sort. 
Um, I don't know. And it, it says fear of failure. So I don't know if you are afraid to fail at something. But I'm sensing somebody here is guided actually to come from a place of love. And also see um, the mistake in whatever happened there. We have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay. And we have surrender to what is. We need to accept, right? So flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, com compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. I know, baby. It's about new beginnings no matter what the universe is saying. Well, it's about time. Um, peace of mind. You and peace of mind and the, and the magician twice. Absolutely, it's a magical time that we need to take advantage. Honestly, the energies are aligning, right? And hope and divine guidance. We do have the star and the magician. Are you kidding me? That's a very beautiful energy. But I'm sure because of the pain, we are not seeing it. But I hope you'll find the strength to see, actually. Um, so Capricorn, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.